Hey there YouTube, back again with another doll review. This time I've got the Live Dolls from Spin Master. Now have you ever cut your Barbie doll's hair, or even your Bratz doll's hair, and then realised it doesn't grow back and it just looks ugly? Of course you have. Now Spin Master has actually come up with an answer for that, and that's interchangeable wigs. Each of the Live Dolls come with a spare wig in the original series, and then you can buy separate wigs to add on to your collection. One of the best features is if you've got, say, a blonde doll and you want it to have black hair, you can swap it over and there's no hassles. And that's another good thing. Spin Master have actually incorporated fashion play, hair play, and online play into one doll, which is something that no other dolls have actually done before, fat companies anyway. Now the characters are Sophie, who's the blonde, Katie, who's the brunette, and then you've got Alexis, who's the African-American, and Daniela, who can either be an Asian character or a Hispanic character, depending on your preference. Like I said, each doll has interchangeable wigs. That's why I end up making a sort of Katy Perry look-alike live doll with blue hair from California Girls, just working on making a headband and getting some cupcakes for her bra. There's a few other um, things that are great about them, and that's the quality in them. These dolls have had no quality issues I've come across yet. And I actually have quite a lot of them. Um, I've got more downstairs. They're just the same ones. I've just redressed them in various outfits. I just wanted to show these ones because we've only just gotten these um, puppy ones in, um, on the shelves in Australia about a month ago. So as you can see, they are fairly new for us. And I think America's had these for quite some time now. It's just a case of Australia gets things fairly late. Um, the dolls are fully posable. That's one good feature about them. So you can pose them so she can wave, she can sit down, and she doesn't have the annoying cracky knees, say, like Barbie. But she can also kneel as well, so you can actually have her, say, kneeling, um, playing with her puppy. This one actually comes with a puppy, but I just put her in a box because it's in storage. We're moving house. So yeah, these are really, really cool dolls. Um, if I was to say they were recommended for an age group, I would say probably seven and up, just because there is um, a lot of detail and mar uh, marksmanship's actually gone into making this doll. And a six year old and under would probably not have the coordination to actually play with this doll or fully enjoy it. And they'd probably get frustrated with the wigs. Um, and that's another thing um, that could become of a hassle. The fashions themselves, as you can see, are quite detailed. You've got a sort of frilly lacy top, denim hot pants, leggings with lace trim, really cool shoes, funky hat. In this one you've got you know, denim cut off skirt with a tie dye paisley type top, fur trim vest. Um, one of my favourite ones is this one here, Daniela, because she's very punky looking in this sort of pink and um, purple and black ensemble with a sort of black glove thing happening here black dark tinted glasses and she's sort of got purple streaks in her fringe which you can sort of see and then the back it's just black they are a very very good quality doll um, which surprises me because Spin Master have never gone into the whole fashion doll line before and they come out with this as their first attempt and that's fantastic um, would I recommend these over um, Live Doll, over the Barbie slash My Scene, the Bratz dolls, or Moxie Girls? I probably would because there's a lot of fun to be had with these dolls, and the detail is just that one step higher than, say, MGA or what Mattel would do. One thing that um, the Live Doll line has that Barbie doesn't is a lack of pink. And that's a good thing if your girl's not a girly girl that loves pink everything. That's a really good feature because if you've noticed on the shelves um, currently, every Barbie you'll find either has pink on the fashion, a pink fashion, or pink accessories galore. There's no realism in them anymore, which is a real disappointment because that's why girls seem to grow out of Barbie so early. But these dolls extend that fashion doll play. They're not overly sexualized. They're actually quite neutral clothing, which Spin Master was purposely done that way because they don't want to have that Brat's image, they want to have a nice sort of wholesome family image behind these dolls, and that's a good feature. All the dolls do come with underwear, 
like permanently on them, so which is a good feature. So you can actually um, put them in shorter outfits and they don't look skanky with no undies. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, if you'd like me to do any other reviews or if you'd like any more close-ups or more detail on the dolls, let me know. Um, yeah, so have fun. Keep an eye out for the new Live Dolls that are coming out. There, there's another heap of stuff coming out. There's a drum kit, a skate park and skates uh, bike set. There's a holiday lodge, a pet care center. So there's a lot of really, really cool stuff. And one quick more, one quick thing, just quickly. This case at the back is really, really cool. It's a case that turns from this case into a full room for your live dolls. You can see it's got a mirror. It came with little coat hangers as well. Um, again, that also comes with another feature of the um, live dolls, which I've completely forgotten about. And that's the online features of the dolls. Now the online features, each doll comes with one of these little tags. You peel off this white sticker here and you have an online world to visit. Where you get to visit the um, characters online world, you get to read their blogs and even have your own virtual wardrobe. Anyways, um, I've talked enough. Uh, let me know if you want any other doll reviews. Uh, I've got a fashion fairy tale doll review coming in the next couple of days, if I get around to it, I've got to dig out the dolls because we've moved house and they're in storage. Anyways, have fun and enjoy.